We're standing here in the heart of the site of what will be the monumental Philip and Susan Reagan building at Mass General. I'm Brian Chase, Vice President and Construction Executive for the Turner Walsh Joint Venture. Today, we're gonna to delve into the construction of the slurry wall process. This is a significant milestone. It is the first structural component of the building that we're gonna be putting in place. Let's go take a look at the engineering marvels that lie beneath the surface. So the clamshell apparatus is the first step in the excavation. This clamshell is gonna take us through the upper 15 feet of fill that we placed in the, in the guide wall. And it's gonna proceed down through the clay, which will be approximately 60 feet in deep. After that process, this clamshell will move to another panel and will bring a hydro mill in to create the second part of the process of excavating to the full depth of the panel, which will be in excess of 100 feet. If you've been in the neighborhood, you're probably wondering what these large tanks behind me are. These are part of our slurry management system, which includes the tanks and a mixing station and a series of pumps to allow us to distribute the slurry mix throughout the site and be able to support the various excavations that we have going on. They're just finishing up installing the rigging apparatus to be able to take this panel from a horizontal position into a vertical position that we can insert into the slurry wall panel. The team now has this reinforcing cage in its final position. The cage is about 85 feet long and it's going into a hole that's been excavated that's over 100 feet deep. They're in the final steps of getting to that position where they will begin to actually lower it into the ground. Here we are now at the final part of the operation of the placement of a slurry wall panel, the concreting operation. And now we have our final product. What you're seeing in front of you here is that sound foundation that we need to build the entire building on. And there you have it, folks. That wraps up our summary of the slurry wall construction for the foundation of the new Philip and Susan Reagan building here at Mass General. I'm Brian Chase, and it's been an absolute pleasure to share with you this momentous milestone today.